Hello guys and welcome to a new specialized tutorial for Discord in my how to series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up sinus bot music bar for Discord. Yeah you heard right, it's now also available for Discord and not just TeamSpeak. So this is pretty much one of the strongest alternatives to the music bot by just some bots and you might consider using this one because it is a little bit better or it has its own advantages and uh, all links used in this video will be in the video description for you guys so um, let's start off by uh, going to the discord developer applications page and uh, setting this bot up is in general uh, quite simpler than usually uh, with the music bot by just some bots, but I don't know if that makes a huge difference in uh, functionality. So, uh, let's uh, sign in here. I'm just quickly gonna uh, blur this if you guys don't mind. And I'm quickly going to have to authenticate. Which is quite normal. Uh, some of you guys also have to do that if you have two-step authentication on for your Discord account. And just get there and uh, once you've got that done you should come to this overview page or panel and you should hit create new app um, here you can set up your music bot so pretty much what you're gonna want to do is give it a good name so I'm gonna call it something something hmm. Okay, I'm going to call it Sinusbot YouTube Tutorial and uh, we're going to hit create. Uh, if you want to hit uh, get any app icons so it has actually like some kind of icon, uh, I'm going to choose this here and uh, then you got this icon here so it actually has like a profile picture in Discord. I'm going to hit create app, it's going to take a second and uh, what you want to do next What you want to do next is hit create bot user. Yes, do it. And it should come out like um, this. What you want to do next is actually uh, go to the download page of the science bot. And it should look something like this. I'm going to hit download up here. It's going to take you down. And download for Windows 64 bit. And you can choose to do this on the desktop. So I have downloaded this already, so it should look something like this, like this installer. And what we're going to do is open it, run it, and hit next, accept. Uh, you can choose the path here. I'm going to choose the desktop uh, just for the tutorial purposes. You can see, you can put it into your programs folder if you wanted that. But just for the tutorial, I'm going to put it on my desktop. And we're going to hit... Um, I'm quickly going to make a folder as well because it doesn't automatically move and hit next, uh, install and it will load a couple of seconds and you're going to finalize and you can pretty much start it over that and what should happen is it should ask for a firewall uh, allowance, you're going to allow that and uh, pretty much it's going to hit you up on this page if you click on the notification coming in the down. Uh, page and we're gonna go to instance settings and you're gonna see all the stuff here and you want to go to instances add instance discord and we're gonna continue from there okay so here what you're gonna do is go to the nickname of the client and I'm just gonna hit YouTube or not sinus bot tutorial YouTube tutorial and you want to get the token from your um, previously made applications page and you're going to hit for this token you're going to hit uh, click to reveal and you're pretty much going to copy this and put it into there uh, don't forget just like with the other um, bot tutorial that you shouldn't share this with everyone because otherwise it gives them access to your bot um, i'm just quickly showing that you this for tutorial purposes of course um, you can also generate a new token if you accidentally did that or something and it should work just fine. And I'm quickly going to paste this here. You're going to hit create, and we're going to have that one. And what you can what you can do now is uh, hit select, 
we're gonna have it and uh, we're gonna continue with the rest next okay so once you have done this you want to go to your instance settings and you actually have to make it uh, allow it to join to your server and we're quickly gonna paste the name again whoops that's the token um, <coughs> Sinusbot YouTube tutorial and uh, what you want to do is yeah join to your server so you're gonna hit click here and you can go to choose a server I'm gonna go to my uh, test wiper right server I'm gonna authorize it and now it should be authorized you can hit back you can put go back twice and Okay, so once you have that done, you want to go back to your instances and select the default channel. And I'm going to hit general and save changes. So the bot should join there and it's pretty much, I quickly just uh, disconnected it. So pretty much what you have to do to connect it and start it is hit the start button up here. And you should hear it should have joined. And uh, you can go to your music and to listen to music, what you pretty much have to do is upload um, audio and uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Um, I uploaded just this file, you drag and drop files there or you just click and select your favorite file, whatever you want and that should be just fine. And I'm going to show you how it sounds from the audio and it's actually quite a lot better than the just some music parts, but it sounds way more clear and it also sounds, it doesn't have any... Um, <clears throat> short breaks between the audio file playing and uh, short interruptions. So uh, listen to this. And the great thing about this bot is that you can actually manually control what it's playing at that time. And uh, <coughs> that makes it quite practical. You can also set up radio stations, uh, whatever you prefer, it's quite quite good. Um, you also get, I think this is, this is the kilobits per second that the radio stations uh, support. And uh, you also have instance settings here obviously. You can set up multiple user accounts to one bot. And there's also a ton of add-ons. Not that many, but quite a lot. <coughs> you can vote to skip, and uh, deserve a vote kick, random gifs. And yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and there's going to be follow up videos how to do special things in this bot, certain things and uh, that's why you shouldn't forget to watch and to subscribe and I want to tell you see you next time and don't forget to watch the other bot and by just some bots and I'm just going to say bye.